And it's cool you got that insight into the process. Yeah. Where you saw the work behind the, the glamour side, which is interesting. Yeah. So what do you think when you look back uh, as a kid and the music that you gravitated towards, you know, the Marvin Gaye's of the world, the Aretha's, D'Angelo. Yeah. You're growing up in New Orleans. Cash money is like on fire. Oh, yeah. What, why, why do you think you gravitated more towards the classics than something like, uh, you know, that side of things? Wow. Well, uh, New Orleans is pretty interesting. Um, we're all pretty, we're pretty much... We pretty much have old souls, mm. um, and cash money. I don't know. I, it, I guess it just depends on your upbringing. You know, I, I was I was raised in a house that didn't allow me to listen to cash money like talking about. You know, like yeah, yeah. you know. So I had to go by my friends and my cousins to hear it all like talking. So yeah, I was I was raised you know in a household with a, a plethora of music, but not exactly all of the you know, censored music yeah. wasn't really that right. favorable in my household. But I don't know. I, you know, I guess, you know, I just love ballads. Yeah. I love singing. I just love chords and the way it moves people, you know, and going to church. Emotion. Em raw emotion. Mm. How it just pulls people, pulls the tears out of people. That just moved me more than... Seeing people back that ass up, but it, that does move. That does move me. That does move me. Could move you to tears too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, depends. Perspective. 